This model kit is an X-Wing Starfighter from Star Wars. And this is a little unusual in that it has both the 1 1 scale, the smaller one, and the 1 scale model, both in the same kit. When we open the box, we find the instructions, which are very important. And then, both sets for both models. Let's start with the 1144 model. As you can see, the instructions do not have a lot of words, and the words there are not in English. But, it's pretty easy to follow along if we go step by step. First, we identify the parts we need, then we cut them out and glue them together. So, the first thing we're going to do is from section A1, part number 6, and from section A2, part number 11. So here's section A1, part number 6, and section A2, we'll find part number 11. Finding the right pieces and putting them together requires engineering and math abilities. Some stickers are applied when it's easy to get to the parts. The engines are assembled and attached to the wings. There are four engines and two wings. The two wings are attached together. The fuselage and cockpit are added. One of the laser cannons was damaged, removing it from the frame, but it looks okay. The fully assembled model is ready to attach to the adjustable stand. A sticker is added to make the cockpit more visible. For math, we measure the length, convert inches to feet, and then multiply by 144 to see how big the actual model would be if it were a real X-Wing fighter. For science, we ask, could an X-Wing fighter actually fly? A Google search quickly comes up with the answer, no, but. This is not an airplane, but a space plane, and it's just a fantasy.